Are you thinking about moving to Hawaii and moving into a Kaka'ako condo? In this video, today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of living in the Kaka'ako condos near Ward Village. Stick around and see what kind of amenities and vibes you'll expect. Let's go! Alright guys, today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of living in Kaka'ako condos over at Ward Village. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Joey Control Prather with EXP Realty. I'm a real estate agent here in Oahu and I'll be glad to help you out in your buying, selling, or your renting process. If you guys haven't done already, please hit the like and subscribe button down below and encourage me to do more videos like this later on in the future. And if you guys haven't done already, please hit me up on the social media platforms and feel free to call, DM me, email me, or text me and I'll be glad to help you. That being said, let's talk about the pros and cons of living over at the Kakaku Condos at War Village. The Ward Village Condos consists of Howard Hughes Condos over on Oahe, Kamake'e, and Queen Street with the completed condos of Anaha, Ayo, Aali'i, Kekilohana, Waiea, with Victoria Place bidding ground in 2023, with the Park Ward Village starting ground this year, with Ulana starting next year, and Kalai Apartments starting to come into the mix possibly next year. From number one, near the beach and it's a walking distance. The great thing about this walking community is it's a half mile to a mile away from Alamora Center at Salt Kakaako for your best shopping and your eateries nearby. You also got DMBs, you got the theaters as well. You also got the TJ Maxx, you got Social Honolulu, you got Picky Smalls, you got Kami Toku Ramen. And if you wanted to go to the Blaze Up for a concert, it's about a mile walk away. And with Alamoana Beach Park right next to your backyard, it's an easy walking distance over to the lagoon. Pro number two, no traffic. By no traffic, meaning you don't have to sit in the rush hour traffic, it is about a 5 to 15 minute drive over to downtown Honolulu. Or if you're a work from home, it's easy to just stay right there in your apartment. Not only you don't have to go to Waikiki, but it's easy to just go to the beach and just enjoy yourself on your days off or any time that you want. Not only do you have the opportunity to go exercise and walk or bike around, but you don't have to pay for the pain in the pump, which is around $5 a gallon. Row number three, luxury amenities. This was rated the best planned community in 2018 in the U.S. by the Architectural Digest. And you have a variety of options ranging from studios to penthouses, and you have amenities and a lot of great things that each apartment has to offer. If you live over in the I.O. apartment, which is the red big building, you'll have easy access to go to Whole Foods every single day. If you're at Keki Lohana, you also have a music studio and a movie theater. If you're at Anaha and Waiea, they each have a chef's kitchen. At Waiea, they have a big spa, indoor golf simulator, a cinema, and a dining room, and the whole tower is made of 1,200 glass pieces. The most common thing out of all the apartments, they have a lobby, a beautiful portico share, pool and whirlpool, lounges, rec areas, and grills. Pro number four, sky deck views. If you're over at Aali'i, you get a 40-second floor sky deck view of the mountains and the oceans above with the lounge room and the gym. If you're over at Anaha, you get a glass pool 75 feet above the deck right above the building. If you're at Keakilohana, you get two sky deck lanai with mountain and ocean views as well. Pro number five, modern residences. New condos come with newer appliances and a lot more convenience for everyone. Each apartment comes with colder toilets and bathroom appliances, although I don't know why it wouldn't come with Toto. If you're staying over at Ali, each room comes up with a private lanai and a wall-to-wall -wall room, coming in with Bosch appliances and natural stone countertops, along with European porcelain tiles. Ula, which is about to be completed this year, comes with Miel appliances, and comes with a wet room style bathroom. Victoria Place comes in with sub-zero refrigerators, wolf gas countertops, and marble vanity bathrooms. So each apartment should give you a really great comfortable feeling of living over in luxury. All right, that concludes the pros. So what are the cons of living over in Kaka'ako? Let's go check it out. Con number one, the paradise tax. If you watched my condo video last month, you will see that there's a lot of things that you look out for in terms of HOAs and location as well. Here in Kakako, it is no different. With Aali, studios ranging from 500000 and going up to $1.5 million due to scarcity. With Victoria Place coming up next year, the lottery done, there are some rooms available, but it's going to range from one2 to over $5 million. And that is going to be a luxury building right there. And it only makes sense because it's adjacent over to Alawana Boulevard, overlooking the beach. If you want a cheaper spot, Ulana will be the best bet. Although they already finished up their lotteries, there are still some places available up in that apartment with studios ranging from as low as $355,000 at 90 cents per square footage. And speaking of square footage, the maintenance fee at Victoria Place will be $1.25 per square footage. So without doing the math, you're gonna imagine it's gonna be over a thousand, maybe $2,000 for paying that fee. Con number two, 
new construction takes a while. If you qualify for any of these apartments and you're ready to go, better be having a very secure paying job for the next two years or so. You don't want to be that horror story when you won the lottery, you sign your papers, and you can't wait to your apartment. And then you get let go in the middle of it, and that affects your two-year job history. Con number three, high demand. And just like in every single market out here in Hawaii, it is going to be low supply, high demand with a lot of things that are going on. And it's no different here in Kaka'ako, especially with the lotteries about done already. And what I observed since March is that Anaha, Kekilohana, and Aali'i has had some places on the market, but they have ranged from at least $800,000. And when it does hit the market, it's either one of two things. Either someone will snatch it up, or it will sit on there. And in this case with the market, there's a possibility with a luxury listing that it may sit longer than usual. Con number four, the sea level rise disclosure. The next into paradise comes with the risk of living near the ocean and Kaka'ako is no exception. So if you're comfortable with living right next to the ocean where now we have the sea level rise disclosure that the seller's agent must disclose to you, do you feel comfortable about what's going on in the next 100 years where there's a potential sea level rise in the ocean? But if you don't mind living there for at least a few years or so, if you always want to live near the ocean and near Kaka'ako and right around the amenities here in Hawaii, this is a great opportunity for you, but it's only for the right person. And stay tuned for another video where I talk about a few more condos that are up and coming, Aliyah and Indiana, which is not Howard Hughes Incorporated, but it is involved with Kamehameha Schools and Kobayashi. And that concludes my video, guys. If you guys enjoyed pros and cons of living over in Kakako, the Ward Village, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. And feel free to comment your thoughts, your feedback about what you think I should do for the next video, or anything about Kakako or Hawaii as a matter. And if you're looking to buy, rent, or sell here in Hawaii, I'm a licensed realtor with EHP Realty. I'll be glad to help you. And feel free to DM me, call me, or text me, or hit me up on my social media platforms. I'll be glad to help you out and we'll provide more value. I hope you guys enjoyed my video guys. This is Joey Control Fraser, powered by EXP Realty, and I'll see you guys soon. Let's rock!